welcome hope you are doing great my name is maida faruqi and my partner for today's presentation is mohammad wahaz amir the topic we choose and will be covering for today's presentation that is the early 19th century pandemic known as the great spanish influenza so these are the objectives and the objectives are introduction world war 1 and spanish influenza why it was known as spanish flu what causes spanish flu what were the symptoms and precaution what was the treatment and vaccine how it impacts what's the comparison between covid-19 and spanish flu and what's the whole conclusion here we have a basic introduction that is on the early 1918 approximately february changed the dynamic of the world and shook to its core by creating a chaos it is believed to be the most severe pandemic of recent history it caused damage in three waves of spring fall and winter of 1918 it slowly ended in 1919 of spring although it continued to 1920 here we have a first point that is the 1918 influenza pandemic was the most severe pandemic in recent history it was caused by an h1n1 virus here h1n1 is the swine flu virus here h stands for hemagglutinin and n stands for neuraminidases discovery showed that this virus was caused by influenza a virus of subtype h1n1 so what's the link between world war 1 and spanish influenza so around 1/3 of the world that is 500 million people caught in the web that is estimated that it killed more people than world war 1 so where was the first spanish influenza case reported and originated so just before the breakfast of morning of march 4 the private member of us army named albert reports to the hospital of kansas complaining that he is having a symptoms like cold that also includes sore throat fever and headache soon after over 100 of his fellow soldiers reported similar symptoms marking what are believed to be the first case in the historic influenza pandemic of 1918 it was later known as spanish flu so why it was known as spanish flu although it was originated and first discovered in us actually spain was a neutral nation during the war there were no restrictions on its press censorship they freely they freely published and aware the people about the new illness that results in people believing that it was spain specific So what causes Spanish flu since Spanish flu is a swine flu it can be believed that it was caused by man to swine contact or a human contact through the swine feces as it is written in the third point that their illness which were known as la gripe la gripe here is known as Spanish flu so on the western front soldiers living in the cramped dirty and damp conditions became ill this was a direct result of weakened immune system that caused them in the result of spanish flu now over to wahaj he will tell you what were the symptoms what was the precautions how it treated when the vaccine came how it impacts and what's the comparison between covid-19 that we have faced the recent pandemic and the spanish influenza compared and what's the conclusion thank you so much As for the symptoms of the Spanish influenza, its symptoms included a sudden and sometimes really high fever, dry cough, headaches and body aches, runny nose, chills, sore throat, loss of appetite, and extreme tiredness, which is known as fatigue. Moving towards its precautions, precautions for Spanish influenza were limited to non-pharmaceutical interventions like isolation, quarantine, wearing protection such as mask and gloves, no spitting in public, maintaining good personal hygiene, like washing hands completely and often, limitations on gatherings. which included the closure of schools colleges churches theaters etc not touching outside items and use of disinfectants as for its treatment during its initial stage there was no vaccine to protect ourselves from influenza infections and no antibiotics to deal with the secondary bacteria infections that people got as complications of influenza virus but moreover there were no machines to provide mechanical ventilation and no intensive care units the efforts to control the influenza infection were limited to non pharmaceutical interventions in 1938 jonas salk and 
Thomas Francis developed the vaccine using a fertilized chicken egg and successfully inactivated the influenza infection. This vaccine was first given to a US military soldier during World War II and its use for civilian population was approved in 1946. As for the impact of Spanish influenza, it is estimated that about 500 million people were infected with this virus, which amounts to about 33% of the world's population at that time. In addition, it killed 50 million people globally, from which 675,000 deaths were in the US. Moreover, it resulted in the closure of parks, colleges, schools, churches, public places, theaters, etc., which resulted in economic loss. If we compare Spanish influenza pandemic with COVID-19 pandemic, we will notice that during the initial stage of both pandemics, we had no vaccines to control these viruses, and these viruses started spreading at an alarming rate. In both cases, the spread of the virus were controlled by practicing non-pharmaceutical interventions. Later on, vaccines were developed and we controlled the spread of the virus to some extent and reduced the death rate. During both pandemics, large number of people were infected and many people died. Moreover, these pandemics also badly affected the economies of many countries. To conclude, we can say that Spanish influenza had its impacts all over the world and it badly affected the economies of many countries and took many lives. However, we learned a lot of lessons from Spanish influenza pandemic like how to deal with future pandemics and how we can control the outbreak of pandemics like by practicing non pharmaceutical interventions, etc. It was thanks to these lessons that we did not have to start from baby steps during COVID-19 pandemic and push through COVID-19 pandemic in only few years.